Hi guys, this will be part two of my project with this six-in-one space robots kit. Part one was a rather long video where we had to assemble the motor and gearbox unit, the solar panel, the battery unit, because it will run off batteries or solar. Uh, it's also got a super capacitor, which you can charge from the batteries or from the solar panel. So it will run on that. And we had to put those wheels together, that little wheel. So that was part one, all those separate bits. Um, this episode, we're going to put the space rover together from the looks of it, because that's the next thing on the list. And that takes those bits and just adds a few bits on the front from the looks of it. So we need the upper gearbox. Let's unplug the solar panel for now. So we've got upper and lower gearbox. Actually, that's the other way around. Upper and lower. To separate them, we squeeze it little pad, pad just there, squeeze it, comes apart. We don't need that one, we need this one. We also need part B13, which will be this one, I think. Yep, yeah, that says 13. Once I got the hang of the instructions, I like this kit quite a lot. Although it looks like we've done most of the work now, so this is just a matter of putting a few bits together to make the different um, formats. So that's going to go on there. Then we need B11, which has got to be that one. Yeah, that's B11. Trim that up a little bit. All right, so B eleven. Is going in there like that. And then wheels going in there. Do they clip in? Yeah. And that will steer if we want it to. Okay. And then no doubt we want... We can either charge that directly from the solar panel or we could plug it into the battery module to charge it. Either way, we're going to plug this into there. I've already given it a little bit of charge. And away he goes. <laughs> yeah. Let's just clear the table, see if we can get him to run round on the table. Turn that tight enough. Oh, that's too tight. 
No, I can't cope with that. No, it needs a bit more charge. Right, okay. To charge that up. I'll get artificial sunlight because it's nearly six o'clock at night now, so we've got no sunshine outside. And if we plug that straight into there, shine that on there. A few minutes well a few seconds will do just for demonstration purposes if I put it down on the floor it'd be all right it's only because I'm trying to get it to tight turn so tightly yeah it's not going to turn that tight <sighs> Uh, needs a bit more charge. Okay, in that case, you should be able to put this fella on top. You plug that in there, or am I skipping to the next build? Just check. Space Rover. That's Space Rover. If we want Space Explorer. That on top of there. Go on. Oh, I knocked his head off. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm I'm molding two together, mixing two together. Yeah. I'll charge up the supercapacitor from the battery pack and then we'll make him run the way he's supposed to run. And then we'll move on to Space Explorer which as you can see already is just a difference with the front wheel. Oh, I'm putting a solar panel on top. Well, that's about 30 seconds. Yeah, those wheels. Yeah. Right, pull that off there. Plug it in there. <laughs> yeah. So that's running off the supercapacitor, which we could have charged from the solar panel, but I charged it from the battery pack instead for about 30 seconds.
Well, I'll let it run down. <laughs> Right, that'll do. So that's the end of uh, episode two, I suppose. We'll do the Space Explorer next. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.